Well, hello everybody, this is Street Outlaw Snow Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Doc looking for a new car and selling his daily driver. And we're also going to talk about Hella Quick, Frank Acevedo's badass Camaro Monday Night's MVP in the Mega Cash Days. Please subscribe and comment, and photo credit goes directly to the photo owners. So, first of all, Doc is looking for a new rolling chassis. 6.0 certified car, steel roof and quarter, and it has to fit a 36 inch tall tire. Why is he looking for a new car? Well, apparently the old street beast was not salvageable. That's a pretty uh, bad deal. In another post, he said it was done, but I believe that means the car is done. It's not repairable because, as you may see from the last post, He's looking for another car. And uh, that crash was horrible. I already did a video on that crash a while back. And uh, that car was banged up pretty bad. He said it was salvageable, but maybe it isn't. We really still don't have a final word, uh, word on that. So uh, he is building a new Street Beast, a new Monte Carlo for No Prep Kings. But that car is a long ways to be finished. We're two months away from the season premiere of uh, No Prep King Season 4. So at the same time, to help fund that new car, or possibly the new car he's going to buy, the new roller, he's selling his badass race-winning Monte Carlo. He's selling the Firebird, I believe the Trans Am, I mean, that he had. He's selling one of the motors... From the OG Street Beast, the Fulton 728 cubic inch motor. So uh, he's trying to get the funds to actually finish that new car. That new car is a whole chassis build from scratch. That's basically a $170,000 to $200,000 build for a bare chassis, a rolling chassis. That's $150,000 to $200,000 easily. So it's a lot, a lot of money. So, uh, Hopefully we will see Doc running either this car or a new car because, uh, well, he is one of my favorite racers. And I really want to see him run no prep kings and on the street. Now, Frank, Monday's night MVP. He made an awesome showing that day. He raced three very, very fast cars and he beat them all three. He beat uh, all boogie. He beat Shake and Bake, and he actually beat Sean Fink, which was probably the scariest car out of the whole group on Monday. I mean, that car beat Lutz. It beat that badass Bowman Chevelle. So, Frank, hey, I give it to you. That was a hell of a show. Badass car. Keep kicking ass.